Um, good afternoon, everybody. Um, thank you very much for inviting me uh, to speak here um, for for our Day Foundation. Um, today, I am introducing the project led by Benesse Foundation over 20 years in the island in the Seto Inland Sea. Um, through the book Insular Insight, I have co-edited last year, and this is the book you will find at the bookstore. Um, in this context of this Benesse project, Christian Boltanski chose to realize the Museum of the Heart Archives. Um, I myself has been involved in this uh, Benesse project in, from the beginning at the early 90s. So this is why um, I get uh, involved in this uh, editing of the, the project. Um, this book, well, um, just a moment. Okay, so this is the, the cover. Just showing some image of the island. Okay. So this book um, discussed the underlined ideas of its founder, Mr. Fuktake as well as a sociological, historical background and regional development through culture. This island is, the island, the idea of island is often considered as a symbol of our idyllic utopian vision of a better world and a metaphor of the longing for a counter world untouched by the wearing hustle and bustle of the city for a new beginning. In this setting of the island, the Benesse Foundation has created a place where art, architecture, and nature harmonize under the idea of the quest of well-being and the antithesis to the frenzy of life in the crisis. It was also a creation of an experiment model of living environment supported by Mr. Fuktake's philosophy of public capitalism and based on mutual respect and openness. So in brief, the book was not merely a documentation but to seek to inspire reflection about the potential of art and architecture to create places in harmony with the natural environment, where the conditions that ensure well-being are considered and debated, where social systems are called into question, where alternatives can be creatively explored, and most importantly, where new ways of life can be discovered. So now I am showing a little bit of geographical situation. Um, I hope you can see it. Um, as you probably know, Japan has four main islands. Seto Inland Sea is located between Honshu, the biggest island, and Shikoku, a little bit north south, and Kyushu. It is not an inland sea in strict sense as it is connected to an ocean here, there are more than 1,000 islands. This region is known for its mild climate, low temperature variations throughout the year, and very little rainfall. With very beautiful scenery, the area was designated as one of the first national parks in Japan. It is also quite rich in history. Some islands retain some vestige that uh, testify that this area was area of trade and transit from the ancient time. It was a part of the Asian trade route and the pas passage of inland sea pirates. Fishing industry was once important, but now falling except few. For example, in Naoshima, aquaculture, salt mining, and algae continue but the region was not escaped from the industrialization since the late 19th century because of its importance in maritime transportation. Inujima and Naoshima became islands of copper refineries, like many other places. So many problems emerged after the industrial decline, such as population, depopulation, population aging, and un un unemployment. For example, Teshima, 
there was illegal dumping of industrial waste, this problem became the nationwide scandal from the 1970s. And in Inujima, there were 3,000 people in early 20th century, but currently there are only about 60 people of average age over 70. Today, many islands lose their uniqueness and vitality. In this particular context, the project of Benese has been set up. I am just uh, um, showing some basic um, philosophy of this project uh, led by um, Mr. Fukutake um, around the idea of regional revitalization through art and the concept of public capitalism and the creation of utopia on us. And then, uh, wait, there is too much. There are some uh, words of uh, Mr. Fukutake, which will be a little bit introducing his um, ideas. So I can quote just a little bit that I want to create a new independent country based on harmony between nature and art. In today's Japan, where there is nothing solid to cling to, why not create an independent country of the mind and imagination? I would like to do it in the Seto Inland Sea, one of the most beautiful places in the world of which we can be justly proud. Or some other ideas, human beings can never be truly happy unless they are part of the happy community. Happy community is where elderly people are happy, etc., etc. Or uh, about the public capitalism, I am proposing a new type of management concept called public capitalism to implement this idea. The foundation I found it is the largest shareholder in the corporation. With the dividend it earned as capital, we have created a mechanism to make a positive construction to society, contribution to the society. I hope to convey the concept of practice and the result of public capitalism to the wider world. So these are some of the basic ideas behind of all this um, uh, project started more than 20 years ago. So now I get into certain details. There are basically three, three islands. Um, I will be introducing chronologically. The first one is Naoshima. And then um, the project get into Inujima, a different island. And then um, the project went to Teshima, the third island where Botanski has realized his museums. So I'll be starting by Naoshima. Um, this island has, uh, it's not a very big island, but it's not so small either. Um, the island has area about eight square kilometers of the surface, and the population of about 3,000 um, people. And it is said that after Emperor Sutoku failed to quell the rebellion in the 20th century, he stopped by Naoshima on the way of exile, and he praised the simple sincerity of the local people and uh, named the island Naoshima because now in Japanese uh, is translated as a sort of simple sincerity. So this is where the name of the island uh, came from. In the 17th, 19th century, the island flourished as a center of shipping and the salt manufacture, um, whereas the northern, north end forms a big industrial area. The south preserved the natural beauty where the Benesse house and all the projects are installed. So you see a little bit in the northern part, there are some factories and which is uh, forming the industrial area and uh, some village. And in the south, where you don't see actually in the picture, um, where conserving, preserving the, um, the natural beauties. So there are some uh, photos of the place. So this is the southern part of the uh, of the uh, island where you see 
the building of uh, Benesse House, um, designed by Tadao Ando. So talking about the history of uh, the project, all began by the opening of an international summer camp, which was at the end of the 80s. The founder and the former president of Fukutake Publishing, um, who is Soichiro's father, wanted to create a place where children from around the world gather in the island. And the former mayor of Naoshima dreamed of creating an education and a cultural area of southern part of Naoshima. And together, they initiated the project uh, in this island. But the real start was made with the opening of the Benesse House, designed by Tadao Ando. It was in 1992. The building was inspired by the concept of symbiosis between nature, architecture, and art. The Benesse House was made with the Contemporary Art Museum and the hotel complex. It was an open structure that allowed the nature even from the inside. But at the same time, building does not alter the landscape, as you can see. Um, it, is, it, it is designed as a part of the natural setting. Um, in 1995, annex building called Oval was inaugurated. This was located on the promontory and reached by cable car from the museum. And in 2006, Vanessa House was further expanded with two other buildings, park and beach, all designed by Tadao Ando. I am showing some of the image of here. So this is the oval, um, which is located at the top of the, the mountain. This is the inside view of the museum, um, or is the Bruce Nauman's uh, 100 live and uh, die uh, piece. And uh, some of the outside works. Uh, this one is uh, um, made by Taiko Chan, Chinese artist uh, um, who has uh, um, realized this cultural melting bus for which that the visitors can take. This one is uh, Hiroshi Sugimoto's um, installation and some other uh, photos of this uh, um, Venice House complex and uh, giant pumpkin sculpture by uh, Yayoi Kusama located in outside. So now, um, the museum features a permanent collection of paintings and sculptures, but gradually, as a part of temporary exhibition, the site-specific works began to be installed outside the wall. This was an important turning point of their direction. The museum has stopped making less temporary exhibitions, but more concentrated on making outside specific works under the idea around the history and nature. In 1995, the Benesse Prize was set up around the Venice Biennial. The winners of the award, until up to now, there are nine artists groups are uh, invited to select a location on the island to produce their work. The installation site was enlarged from museum hotel grounds, but also into the village through the art house project. From this point, the inhabitants of the island are involved in the project. So now I'm talking about the project in the village, which is called art house project. There are actually seven up to now. And the first art house project, Kadoya, by Tatsuo Miyajima, was realized in 1998. Um, 200 years old house was renovated, conceived by him. 
the art house project proposed to restore or renovate abandoned houses or buildings. It is a kind of marriage of Japanese old and new aesthetics and creativity and traditions. An ex exception is Minamidera by James Tarell. I will be showing the, the photos later. And Tadao Ando, which was a new construction, but it retains the aura of the old place of worship and the spiritual center for the people. Um, residents took part in the re realization of these works. For example, for the case of Kadoya or Miyajima, the, um, the color, um, the red and greens, are actually the, um, the, uh, the number uh, which has been um, decided. The reason has been uh, set up by the visitor. So the visitor, Miyajima invited the village people to determine the speed of the meter in the water. Um, another example, the Sanctuary Go by Hiroshi Sugimoto, uh, 2002. This one is another uh, art house designed by Rei Naito. This is inside. The, this work is only admitted to the one person each time. This go all shrine by uh, Sugimoto. To renovate the sanctuary go, which is a place of worship since the Edo period, Sugimoto designed the buildings, Honden, Honden means main sanctuary, and the chamber of stone underground, Haiden. Haiden is front shrine. The two are connected by a glass staircase to unify the world here on Earth and beyond. This project builds on the architectural characteristics of the first sanctuaries, such as that of Ise, um, which combine the aesthetic of the artist. Today, these works of art are part of the local community, and it is not uncommon to see the islanders and volunteers serve as guide explaining the works to tourists. Recently, a number of young people come to life in Naoshima, live in Naoshima, and uh, open cafes and restaurants and etc., which was uh, completely new um, and unimagined before the project. Um, this is also to restore the community bond. The island people are free of entrance with one of the accompanying people for the Venice Museums and the site. So this is another art ha house. Haisha is uh, in Japanese, it's dentist, um, because the building was actually a dentist uh, place and which has been abandoned many years. And Shingo Otake, who has uh, um, realized uh, this uh, art house project here. This is outside of this Haisha uh, uh, building. So now, another museum designed by Tado Ando, which is called Chichu Art Museum. Um, it was in 2004. Um, it's located uh, about 600 meters from the Benese House on the hill. Chichu meaning literally the buried museum. Architecture is integrated perfectly into the landscape. Chichu Museum houses permanent collection of works by three artists, Claude Monet, Walter de Maria, and James Tarell. Much of the structure being buried the natural light that filters into the building is constantly changing with the seasons and hours of the day. As you have noticed, uh, the selection of these three artists, Claude Monet, Walter de Maria, James Tarell, uh, the, the, the light at the subject is very important in this, uh, in this uh, museum. It's a little bit slow because the image is very heavy, I guess. So this is the inside of the building. Monet's room. James Tarell. And Walter de Maria. As a recent real re realization, another example, this is actually public bus 
I Love You by also uh, Shinro Otake, which was realized in 2009. Uh, 2009. This is a challenge of merging art and architecture in local context. Otake gathered a bunch of different objects from all over Japan, an aircraft cockpit, a boat, a small elephant sculpture found in a museum er of eroticism, and the theme of endless curiosity. You signifies hot water and also bus in Japanese. The bus are a vital place in Japan for many years. It is a place to discuss and exchange news, etc. It was a place of social place of community, but disappearing in our modern life. So the Otake's project does not give a new landscape in the village, but also attempt to re revitalize the village and the unifying community. So this is the outside um, the building and inside. So I don't know if you can see it. Uh, there is uh, some of the ukiyo-e um, the image underneath, I mean, under the water. And when you are taking a bus uh, in nudity, of course, um, you see <laughs> in underneath of your body, there is some of the very erotic images of ukiyo-e and etc. This um, image of ukiyo-e was actually found in one of these old abandoned house um, uh, which in this island. And uh, you know, in Japanese uh, house, we use a tatami um, mattress. And uh, um, this has been hidden underneath of the, the tatami mattress. I guess probably the house owner, I don't know, 100 years ago or 200 years ago, he was hiding these Im erotic images from his wife or whatever. And so he completely forgot that no one knew. And at the time that uh, this has been um, acquired <laughs> and by this uh, Benesse project, we found it. And uh, Mr. Fukutake uh, really liked it. So he w wanted to use uh, this uh, memory and the certain vestige of, um, of the island in the project. So we don't stop here. There is another new museum built by Tado Ando in 2010. Um, the museum to present permanent works by Li Wu Fan. Um, Li Wu Fan was one of the most important figures of Monoha movement in the 1970s, and he had recently a large scale solo show at the Guggenheim Museum in New York. So, some of you may have uh, heard of his name. So, this is some of the views of outside of the building. And another community project is Art and Agriculture Project. Um, to Japanese, rice is both a dietary staple and at the heart of agricultural production. But the production decreased in modern age. Here, the production of rice is seen as a creative act akin to art. This project tries to regenerate the parties which makes a landscape surrounding the Teshima Museum um, creating inseparable combination of art and architecture and uh, agriculture. So this is, uh, um, well, I just mentioned Teshima um, Island, but uh, also in Naoshima, uh, they are developing this uh, project. So now I go uh, for Inujima, the second island. Um, it was in 2008. While enhancing the cultures and the customs of each island, the objective became to create a cultural area in the arch archipelago. So now it's not only the island itself, it's more like uh, the whole uh, archipelago um, involved. So Inujima is the smallest island uh, in the project. The area has only uh, 0 0.5 square kilometers. So the name Inujima comes from the boulder on the island resembling a crouching dog. Inujima granite is known for its exceptional quality. 
and the use for the castle of Edo, Osaka, etc. And here, copper refinery was built in 1999. At that time, 3,000 inhabitants uh, were there. But within 10 years, the price of copper plumped, and the refinery was completely abandoned. So now, as I said earlier, uh, in this island, uh, there are only less than 60 permanent residents and uh, the average a age is over 70. So this is, I don't know if you can sort of understand if it's similar to a dog. <laughs> so the first uh, project is Inujima Art Project uh, Seiren Show. moment. I, I'm losing a paper. <laughs> Sorry. So the first Australian show was realized by architect Hiroshi Sanbuichi and the artist Yukinori Yanagi. Sanbuichi's interest was in expressing the detail of the earth through architecture. The museum is heated, cooled solely by natural energy. The essence of the project is to create architecture that enables humans to function as part of the Earth's original environmental cycle, along with plants, the sun, soil, um, water, and air. So use what exists to create what is to be. Um, the project was inspired by this word by Mr. Fukutake, and it was meant to be the 21st century's new refinery of thought about art and resources. So this is a room of the installation by Yanagi. And the second project uh, in this island uh, developed by um, Another women architect, um, Sejima, who must be known also here, um, who has designed the new museum uh, in New York, and then also here. they are opening um, their new museum, the uh, Louvre um, Lance, uh, at the end of this year. Um, so Inujima Art House Project aims to bring a renaissance to Inujima, the galleries designed by, uh, uh, by Sejima extend horizontally into the surrounding village and affect the everyday activities of its residents. They spread out and open up to the landscape. I don't know if you can see, there are some of these uh, um, the new buildings made by Sejima. Here also another one. So then, finally, we go to the third island, which is Teshima. And the Teshima is the latest island for the project and is the biggest uh, one, uh, which has a surface of uh, 14 square kilometers. The island looks back on the long history of rice cultivation dairy farming and uh, fishery, and as its name implies, it once prospered as an island rich in food. The dumping of industrial waste that began in the early 1970s was a major concern. 500,000 tons of toxic industrial waste were dumped, causing dioxins, and etc. But after a prolonged struggle, a settlement was finally re reached in the year 2000. Today, the industrial waste disposal facility operates on no Naoshima, and Teshima also has a welfare facilities, a children's hospital, and a center for the elderly, founded by the social activist, uh, Mr. Kagawa, um, in the um, 19th century. In Teshima, 
one of the, the most recent uh, project is uh, this museum designed by Nishizawa, Ryue Nishizawa, and artist Rei Naito. This building is shaped like a drop of water and forms a single space with flowing walls and ceilings. Nishizawa selected a rich natural setting for the teardrop building, while Naito created an ambience where visitors can quietly experience the breath of life on Earth as they gaze at a drop of water forming. Based on the idea of unity of architecture, nature, and art. Teshima literally means fertile, abandoned island, as rice has been harvested for millennia here. The Teshima Art Museum and we are created terrace rice paddies, which had been lying fallow for years, symbolize renewal, re renewal of the island. This is the inside view. And uh, the water is permanent, permanently moving, um, depending on the, the weather of the day and the different time. Another work in this uh, Teshima Island is uh, Tomna Hui by Mariko Mori. Um, in ancient uh, Celtic lore, it was the place where souls wait to pass on to their next life. Inspired by this mice, she has created a contemporary monument of glass and installed in it in the center of a pond in the forest. Networked to the Super Kamioka Neutrino Detection Experiment, it responds when the observatory detects a neutrino such as those emitted by a dying star. When that happens, the work emits a beautiful light. As you can probably imagine, it's very difficult to access. So I think this is for extraterrestrial whatever. <laughs> From the top, from the sky, it is easy to see, but if you're there, you see, uh, you have to have the uh, boots and the rain boots, and then you have to really go up to the top of the sort of hill, mountain hill, and uh, in order to see the, um, the work. Now, Finally, we are reaching to the Museum of Heart Archive, realized by Christian Bodansky in this island of Teshima. In a grove of pine trees facing the Seto Inland Sea, this small museum was built. In addition to the installation room, in a listening room, Visitors can search online to hear heartbeat from all over the world and possibly of people they know. Also, the visitors are invited to record their own heartbeats if they wish, adding the echoes of their unique identities to the archive. As time passes, many of the heartbeats will be those of people who have died. In this way, the archives underscore the fragility and the transience of human beings as unique individuals, and the listeners become acutely aware not only of their presence, but also of their absence. This is the uh, entrance of uh, the museum, which is very difficult to see, actually, from, from the land. It can be seen from the sea, but uh, from the land, it's it's a sort of a hidden area. And this is the inside of the, of the building. And here, um, Christian Botansky has chosen to work with the local uh, builders rather than working with the, uh, the famous internationally known um, architect. I am uh, introducing some of the um, 
the, the Christian Botanskis was the importance of religion has undoubtedly declined in places like Japan or Europe, but today's museum and artworks are a kind of new religion. People will come to this island. What I have done is akin to a religious ritual. People come to listen to the heart of someone who has disappeared. My work is not so much about what there is to see. The work is very small. It's more about experiencing something spiritual, like a pilgrimage, like praying and meditating, meditating with someone. My name will disappear, but I hope a tradition will survive of coming to listen to ancestors. So for my project in Teshima, remoteness was very important. The location seems ideal because of its, its remoteness and beauty. So I am closing um, my <laughs> lecture about uh, the project of um, Benese Foundation. Um, Naoshima project is a long term and a complex one. It needs to be built over time with the inhabitant of the islands, sometimes to overcome their reluctance to the project. Now the question is, can art project initiated here takes us to a place we have never been able to imagine before, offering solutions to the problems of contemporary society and enabling young people to live a more pleasant life? It is certainly difficult to answer to this question, also evaluate the real meaning of this experiment. But I am just uh, giving you some statistic um, figures in, 1990s, in the 1990s, uh, in 10 years, there were only 5,000 tourists. Chichu Art Museum opened in 2004. 100,000 uh, 100, people uh, visited only a year. And in 2009, it became 360,000 over 10 times the population of the island to enjoy the culture, history, and art, and nature. In 2010, it became double 640,000 visitors. And now some young people are settled there, opening hotels and cafes and restaurants. The benefit of these are not just economic, but more importantly, as the mayor of Naoshima said that we have been given greater energy, dreams, confidence, and pride. So in 20 years, gradually, the project changed the people's attitude and ways of life and bringing new vitality to the region. I have one uh, anecdote that Mr. Fukutake likes to talk to everybody whenever he has a chance to speak in front of the public about this project. Um, the the um, very old uh, person, senior uh, citizen of the Naoshima, who is about 70 years old, uh, who has been involved in the project from the very beginning. And uh, he has met a young girl uh, who came from the mainland uh, um, to Naoshima. And uh, she is like 25 years old. And finally, they got married um, like um, a couple of years ago. So. Um, he keeps telling that, again, going back to this idea, that uh, uh, the, um, the happy community has to be where uh, the elderly people are happy. So this is uh, uh, one of the, um, the example that he has, uh, he, he likes to talk about. Um, during the time we are working on this book, Japan had a a catastrophic earthquake and the following tsunami and nuclear power plant explosion. I was myself on the 20-story floor of a high-rise building in Tokyo. Um, I was just about 
of starting a press conference of Yokohama Triennial that I am curating, and uh, uh, apparently the press conference has been has been cancelled, and uh, we were all stuck in the building. And um, all these incidents forced us to make serious reflections on existing systems and the values of our life and the call for a dramatic social transformation following the Meiji Restoration in 1868 and World War II. These projects in Naoshima seem slightly be sending signals of change in this context that underscore how narrow are the bounds of progress how perilous the risks we take, and how fragile the pursuit of prosperity. Thank you very much. <laughs>